type in, right? I'm reading this as we go through an uh, hour and a half of the PNG type in, but, and this is the project proposal for self immunization study with Dr. Hanley. Um, through Annie and through the Rocket Hub site that we're working on, and this is the summary. The intent is to put hyperimmunization of snake venoms on a sound scientific basis so that in the future, others who want to be immune can have a protocol to follow that will work. This will lay the foundation for attempting to develop self-immunization protocols that can be used by the world's poor. <clears throat> or the majority of the 125,000 victims that die from snake bite each year. It will also make it easier for snake fanciers and personal personnel in zoos to make use of hyperimmunization to venoms. That's the summary. Second part, the goals. Development of sound protocols for human snake bite immunization. Number two, the identification of target antibody titers to venoms that indicate various levels of protection. Number three, the determination of venom neutralization capability of human hyperimmune individuals, and number four, develop a baseline to determine if human subject blood could be used to produce an antivenom that would not generate serum sickness. Um, here's the plan. Obtain institutional review board approval to draw blood from human subject for the study. This would be a commercial IRB agency such as the Fox IRB or Solutions IRB. These agencies have very low cost and have quick turnaround time. Number two, draw seven vials of blood from a hyperimmune subject. A, submit blood or serum for antibody titer testing, venom neutralization testing, total antibody, antibody fraction, and standard panel for blood bank. Submit venom from each of the seven snakes used for antibody and neutralization tests. Number three in the plan, collect records of Tim Friede's immunizations and his bites, and using that material in immunology, design a protocol for use by a new volunteer subject. Number four, immunize the new subjects to four snake venoms using the new optimized protocol. Number five, draw a blood sample sample prior to the start and five days after each, after each immunization. Store the sample for processing later. At the completion of the immunization protocol, send selected blood samples for antibody, antibody testing titer levels. Due to cost, while the full set would be desirable, the initial plan is to keep it down to 20 total, five for each. Test the first and last samples for total antibody fraction and perform a neutralization study. And finally, number six, plot the results and compare it with existing collect, collected data. Compare titer levels and neutralization assays for the just completed protocol target levels and if the target levels are higher, then perform, sub, perform several more levels sending samples out each time for testing. So this is what Dr. Hanley and I have been working on and it's pretty sound and I think it can work in many levels and it also includes a DNA vaccine, uh, deribonucleic acid vaccine, the genes that make the venom, to see, to see if those genes can transfect my cells and make venom to create IgG antibodies. Is the final goal, and that's the plan we have so far. And that will do it. So please support Rocket Hub and support our project. Thank you very much.